In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add an ellipse to single and multi-line truncated text with CSS text overflow ellipses. All right, I have a simple example here, both for a single line and a multi-line example. All right, so right now I have this, and let's say you want a single line with an ellipse at the end. So I've given them both a background color. So let's start here with the single line example. So you first need to set a width or a maximum width. So let's say the maximum width is gonna be something like 300 pixels here. So if I do that and save here, you're gonna see the width gets restrained. And so you're gonna get something like this. So then the next step would be to prevent this wrapping because by default, they're gonna wrap onto new lines. So we, would, we have to say white space, no wrap. And let me actually make this a little bit smaller. If I refresh, you can see it doesn't wrap and it sort of overflows the the, the, well, the background color here and you get a horizontal scroll bar in my case. But this is basically what we have so far. Now, the next step is to use overflow hidden. So you're gonna hide the text that overflows that stuff. Okay, now the last step is to simply say text overflow ellipsis. Right, so when you do that, basically, basically four requirements, you're gonna get those three little dots. You need to restrain the width in some way. Um, so maximum width would also work, right? So max width. Um, if you're using Flexbox, you need to use the flex basis property um, and your element needs to be a block or inline block element. So if you're using a span element, you need to say something like this to make this work. Okay, so that's for a single line. Right, that's still easy. Now the difficult part is when you want multiple lines and you want an ellipsis. So let's take a look at how you can do that. So here, um, it's actually a bunch of weird properties, but it still it seems to work. And actually, the coverage is pretty good. So the first would be to 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 restrain the width again. Right, so we could say width. Let's make it three hundred pixels. Right, so you're gonna get this, and then we would have to say display webkit box. Okay, that doesn't do much. So now the following is to use WebKit line clamp. And here you can specify the number of, of uh, lines that you want. So let's say we actually want two lines. So I would say two. Then you have to say WebKit box orient. And it should be vertical. Okay, so this already looks a little bit strange, so bear with me. The last thing we have to do is say overflow hidden. So if you do all of that and then refresh, you can see that we now have two lines with an ellipsis at the end. If you want three lines, you would say WebKit line clamp three, right? So that's how you can get a multi-line ellipsis. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.